In this lecture, let's generate the bundled files for our application project, which we will deploy in the production environment. Now, before deploying your Angular application to production, you should always make sure that your application is properly optimized for faster performance and you have done a thorough testing of your application so that no bugs are present in your application. And once the development is complete, performance optimization is done and thorough testing has been performed, your application is now ready for the production deployment. And for the production deployment, we need to build our Angular application in such a way that it generates bundled files which is suitable for production deployment. Now, so far what we have been doing is, in order to compile this Angular project and run it in the development environment, we were using this ng-serve command. So here we are using this ng-serve command. And when we run this ng-serve command, it compiles our Angular project, it generates these bundled files, and then it also starts a live development server where that application will run. Now, this ng-serve command, when we use it for compiling our application, it does not write these files into the disk. It writes these files in the memory. And it simply executes these files from the memory and show it in the live development server. So, since ng-serve command, it it reads the files from the memory and run it, it makes this process faster. So this ng-serve command, it is intended for fast, local and iterative developments and also for building, watching and serving the application from a local CLI development server. Now, this command does not generate an output folder. Okay, when we run this command, in the project folder structure, you will not see any new folder generated. And as I mentioned, this ng-serve command, it builds the artifacts from the memory for a faster development experience. And for this ng-serve command, there is one more advantage, which is by default, it detects the changes in the source file and it automatically rebuilds and reloads the application in the browser. So whenever we will make some changes in our application, for example, let me open style.css. If I make some changes here, if I save the changes, these saves, these changes will be automatically detected, as you can see, by this ng-serve command, and it will recompile it. So this is built in with ng-serve. This behavior is by default with ng-serve command. And ng-serve is suitable for local development and testing purposes. And as I mentioned, this ng-serve command, it does not generate a real file. It does not write to the disk. It generates these bundles, but these bundles are available in the memory. It has not written it somewhere in the disk, which we can copy and deploy. So now what we need to do is, once our Angular application is ready for deployment, we need to build it. And we need to build it not with ng-serve command, but with another command called as ng-build. So let me kill this ng-serve process here by pressing Ctrl C. Let me clear the console here. And now we are going to build our Angular project, this Angular project using ng-build. So again, let's go back to command prompt. And here I am going to run ng-build command instead of ng-serve. And let's press enter. So this ng-build command, what it will do is, it will compile your TypeScript code into JavaScript. And it will also compile your HTML templates to JavaScript instructions so that in the end, only JavaScript code is generated, which will update the DOM based on how you have defined your HTML template. And there will be no HTML file. All the DOM elements will be created and referenced using JavaScript. Also, this ng-build command is going to generate actual bundled files. It is going to write those files in the disk. Okay. So, you see, it has generated some bundled files. And if we go to our project folder structure, there you will notice that a new folder called dist has been created. If I expand this dist folder, there you have a folder with the Angular project name. And in there you will see that some JavaScript files, these assets and this index.html file we have. So this index.html file, it is the same file which we have seen for our project. And in this index.html file, if you notice, First of all, we are using this app root, which is the selector for the root component. And there we are also inserting the script files like this runtime.js, 
then we have this polyfills.js main.js so these are the bundled files which has been generated and which contains our application code and we are referencing these javascript files from this index.html and where are these files present these files are present inside the dist folder in there we have a folder with the project name and in there we have those files Okay, we have this main.js file, we have this polyfills.js file, runtime.js, style.css, etc. So, it is the files and folders from within this dist folder which we want to deploy in production. And we are going to do it in our next lecture. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.